Hello everyone. Today in this tutorial we will understand that how we are going to do the remote debugging of Spring Boot application that we have deployed in an external Tomcat server. Remote debugging means in my last tutorial I have covered that how we are going to if suppose this is the Spring Boot application and we are running this particular application in an embedded Tomcat server. So in this time how we are going to debugging or find out the issues. But here in this tutorial I am going to cover that suppose we have generated the war from this particular application and we have deployed this particular war into the external Tomcat server. How then we are going to like uh, enable the remote debugging of this particular application. So as a preparation what do we need to do the debugging process begins when actually we encounter the problems or bugs into our code means suppose we are ex means we are running this particular method or api from this actual application now let's say it's returning some values but that is not expected we are something else we are expecting something else values so in this time we need to check into detail by debugging our code that where we are missing is there any something that we are expecting but we are not getting that expected value even we are running this particular or calling this particular api but while we are running this one then maybe we are getting some kind of internal server error that actually causing the issue so where from where that actually causing the issues for which data is actually causing the issues those bugs we can find using the debug so for embedded tomcat if we are having in this time it is fine but now if we are deploying this particular application as an external war then how we are going to enable the remote remote debugging to start the debugging it's need to enable debugging support into our ex environment where the code will be executed in this case of java this involves starting the jvm with debugging options normally the jvm debug enabling the comments that I, we need to add in the Catalina file. Catalina file means Catalina actually file actually find from the Apache Tomcat. So this is the Apache Tomcat where actually we have deployed this Spring Boot war. Spring Boot war means this whenever we are going to be means I have actually built this application and this particular application generate this Spring Boot dot war. You can see this one and this particular war we have copied into this Spring Apache Tomcat web apps folder. If you need to understand that how we are going to generate the war from the Spring Boot application, generally Spring Boot generates the jar file, but also we can generate the war file from the Spring Boot app. If you want to understand that related that, there is another tutorial in my channel. You will find this one. I will share the link in the description section also. That you will find it. But I'm not going into the detail like how we are going to generate the war file of this. But you need to understand that this war file basically we have deployed under this Tomcat. And this is the Tomcat over here. Now as I said from the Tomcat under this bin folder we will find this Catalina.bat file. And if we need to edit this then let me open this as Notepad++. So here we need to add properties that uh, JVM properties that we need to add over here. So let me add this one. Okay, now we have saved this one. So we have said this. We need to add this one minus x debug and then x run jdwp and this agent lib and after that we need to add some sub options over here. Okay, so agent lib this jdwp means it's a like. Uh, java debug where protocol this agent actually option available into the jvm and it's allowing us to allowing external debuggers to connect and debug the java application dt transport this one this is the another sub options of this one okay let me zoom it little bit so that you get an understand okay so jdwp means it's a java debug where protocol Okay, now this socket one, 
this is actually sub options of this JDWP agent. It specifies the transport mechanism to be used for communication between the JVM and the debugger. In this case, it's using the socket based transport. Next is this server equals to Y. This is means it is the another sub options of JDWP. It indicates that JVM will act as the server waiting for a debugger to connect it. Next is suspense equals to N. So this is another sub options of this JDWP. It determines whether the JVM execution should be suspended until a debugger connects or continue running. Okay, in this case it will continue the running. And the final one is the address means where the debugger will start. Okay. Next, after adding this into the Catalina dot bat file, okay, we need to add add the remote debugging from the Eclipse perspective. Over here, you can click this one, then open the debuggers, and here you need to click on the debug configuration. So here you will find found actually one options that remote Java application. Double click this one. Here you can keep any name, suitable name. By that you can understand that what is the purpose of it. Over here it will local host this is the host and port so here we can update it to the 8787 means this is the actually port where the remote debugging will start after that you need to click on the debug button okay so once actually we will start the tomcat then after that it will basically start it will connect to the debugging port so after that we need to start the tomcat over here so for starting the tomcat there is one bat file that is called the startup.bat if we click this one it will start the tomcat over here okay let it start okay why it is not starting Startup dot bat. Yes, you can see that the first statement was listening for transport DT socket at address eight seven eight seven. Means Tomcat started in the eight. Means Tomcat actually started in eight eighty port, but Tomcat debugging point starting at this eight seven eight seven port. Okay, you can see that Tomcat got started and the Spring Boot applications also deployed over here. You can see all the details over here. Okay, so let it start once. Then, like, uh, okay, you can see the Tomcat got started over here in HTT port. Okay, now from the Eclipse, we need to just open this debug configuration and here we need to click on the debug so you can see it got started now now from the either postman or from the like uh, browser we need to call this particular api so for calling this one whenever we are going to deploy this one into the word application as into the tomcat so we need to call with the like the context name so for this the context name will be spring hyphen boot so let me show you This is the localhost 880 is ping hyphen boot. This is the context name that we need to define and then API and then products. So now if we call this one, you can see we have added the two debugger point over here. So it's come over here. So for going to the further, we need to press the F6 so that it will come over here and then it will execute that database call. Okay. And then we need to resume the application. So now if we see over here, you can see the response is printed into the browser. Okay. So this is very simple actually that how we are going to enable the remote debugging into the external whenever we are going to deploy the application into the external Tomcat. Okay. So the step is to we need to add the debugger things like options over here. So in, what is the things that we need to cover? So we need to like add this debugger options over here jdwp this one 
after that we need to start the tomcat we need to open the remote debugging thing over here and then we need to start the debugging thing and then we can easily and then we need to add the breakpoints actually so that it will stop over here so these are the options for uh, like enabling the remote debugging into the existing application so this is all about this uh, that how we are going to enable remote debugging i hope it's clear to you all if you guys have anything please do let me know in the comment section don't forget to subscribe my channel please press the bell icon for further notification thanks for your time see you in my next videos bye bye